Okay, so what I'd like to do is just go through, I've got two of these things I'd like to do that are fairly simple, more or less like the book does, where I just have some sort of function. Um, and I've got this function here, I chose it for a reason, but you know, you'll know you see you'll see what that is later on. Uh, this is a vector field with uh, components in the x and the y direction, and it has nothing in the z direction, and I want to find its divergence and its curl. Okay. Um, so the divergence is a scalar, right, that it comes about uh, from taking del dot v, right, so it's a scalar derivative. Um, and it basically shows, uh, you know, whether or not there are um, scalar sources at some point. That's one, that's one way of thinking about it. It shows how much the um, field separates. If you're going to be taking electricity and magnetism, that's actually exactly what it is. It is, a, it is going to tell you about um, scalar sources. If you're taking something that has to do with, um, you know, uh, plasma dynamics, it might have something to do with compressibility of the gas and things like that. So um, there are some other interpretations depending on the actual physical situation. There are some other things that can happen with the uh, divergence. Um, so we've got this guy coming here, um, and now we just want to do this operator. So the dot product, remember, is just x component, x component, y component, y component, z component, z component, right? So we take the um, x derivative of the x component, minus 2xy, and then we add in the y component, the y derivative of the y component, um, so ddy, um, x squared minus y squared, and then uh, just for completeness sake, normally I just ignore this. I can take ddz and multiply it by the z component, which is zero, which is always going to be zero, so I'm not really worried about it at the moment. Um, now I can go ahead and I can um, uh, go through and hit this uh, derivative. Right, so I take the derivative of minus 2xy with respect to x, that just gets rid of the x, so we have minus 2y, and I do the same thing for ddy, and that's um, ddy of x squared minus y squared, x squared ddy is 0, um, y squared it's minus 2y again, so we've got minus 4y as our divergence. All right, so that's how, that's how much the um, field is spreading out, it spreads out depending basically on uh, how high it is, right? How far up the um, it is in the y direction. Uh, B, we want to do the curl, right? The curl is the other of these um, vector pro products, the other um, derivatives on a vector function with respect to the vector components. Um, which is, again, you take this del operator and now you're going to find about find out how much it's swirling around or another way to think about it is where are the um, vector where are the vector um, sources right? vector sources have something to do with this cross product right? uh, x squared y squared z x y z d d x d y d z cross this fun function that I wrote up there it's going to be one of your favorites right you're going to write poems, epic poetry, to this wonderful function here. Um, now I can, uh, what should I do with this? Why don't you tell me what I should do with this? Oh, well, I'm going to go ahead and I'll do with this uh, cyclically. So what that means is I just take the, um, for the x component, I do things with the y and z components. So I start with the x component. Then I take the next one, which is y, and take the uh, y for the first vector, and then z for the um, for the second vector, and that's the z component there. It's the big zero right there. So uh, we have x um, d d y of zero, right? And then we subtract the third from the second, so the z from the y. So we have d d z or the the, multi, the product of the third and the second, d, d, z, x squared, y squared. So that has nothing to do with z. So this guy's going to end up being zero. In the y hat direction, I start, start, I've started with y, so I do z multiplied by um, x. So d, d, z uh, minus 2xy, right? Minus 
um, x multiplied by uh, z, so that's d0 dx. So again, we've got something that's going to be zero. So we're only going to have a z component, so getting this last one right is probably pretty important. So now for the z, the next one is, you come all the way back around and that's one. So one, one times two, right? Uh, well, that's going to be d dx of um, x squared minus y squared minus d dy, uh, two times one, of minus two xy. All right, so that's all in the z direction. And um, let me see, how would I, how would I say something about this? Okay, d dx, that's 2x minus minus 2x, so that's plus 2x, which is equal to 4x in the z hat direction. Yeah, so, all right, so that's pointing up. So whatever this is, it's circulating around in the xy plane, which makes a lot of sense because I've got these xy things here. Um, and this is actually proportional to, uh, uh, I think, sine 2 theta, and this is proportional to cosine 2 theta. So uh, that makes some sense to me in general. Um, so this is what we get for these two, um, for these two operations. The dot product takes a um, vector, turns it into a, into a scalar. A derivative of a dot product is a scalar. Um, and for the vector v, that's, for the cross product, that turns it into another vector. Um, there are some uh, issues with that. I could talk about them, but I won't. Um, but this only works really, really well in, uh, this only works this way in three dimensions. So only think about the curl in three dimensions. If you want to go to multiple dimensions, talk to me, and we'll talk about all the issues that you'll have with that. All right. So um, anyways, this is where you get to start with all of these uh, vector functions or vector derivatives. Now, and I got to tell you, you're going to see this a lot in electricity and magnetism. So, you know, go ahead, practice, 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 get this done, because this is something that you don't want to be behind on when you get into ENM. All right? Thank you very much for listening, and I will see you soon. Bye.